Good morning! I'm here at the Rainbow Lakes Trailhead, just outside the Indian Peaks Wilderness. The plan today is to take the Arapahoe Glacier Trail all the way up to the saddle between Old Baldy and South Arapahoe Peak, and then hopefully go to the top of Old Baldy. I believe the trail to the saddle is like five or six miles. I'm not sure. Looks like the trails begin right here, and in a quarter mile is where the Arapahoe Glacier Trail splits off. Starting off here at about five till six. I feel like I gotta keep a pretty good pace today because there is the potential chance of rain later. And after about five minutes of hiking, we're up here to the first trail split. I'm gonna take it over here to the right up the Arapahoe Glacier Trail and it looks like I'm just now officially entering the Indian Peaks Wilderness I think this is gonna be a really beautiful day and a really spectacular trail it looks cool on the map the dirt road getting up to the trailhead uh, it can be done in a car. It's pretty rough, really bumpy, but I think it can be done. Just got to take it slow. Although this trail is really close to a campground, I don't think I'm going to see anybody else out here today. I just have a feeling. It just seems pretty remote. This trail kind of dips in and out of the Boulder watershed along that southern border of it. And there are plenty of signs around on the trees letting you know. Oh, there's another one. This is the one slightly annoying thing with this trail. Is we got this barbed wire going along the Boulder watershed border. I mean, come on, Boulder. Nobody wants your sheddy water. I'm about 40 minutes into this hike, and I just checked the GPS, and I haven't even dented this trail yet. It's really long. And I'm still at the very beginning. Just over an hour into the hike, and I'm just over two miles. I'm finally breaking through the trees. Wow, this is going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be exposed, though, as far as the sun goes. That's looking back in the direction that I have come from. And it's a little breezy up here. Boulder watershed area, all of this. And these are spectacular views. Unbelievable. Here's the next section. I'm gonna take it up and over that hill right there. The trail kind of goes out up and over. I'm almost two hours into the hike, approaching four miles, and I'm at an elevation of about 12,000. So that means I've got about a thousand left to get to the top of Old Baldy. This trail is nothing like I was expecting it to be. I thought it was gonna be real rocky. I didn't think it was gonna be like grassy hills.
I'm up above 12,500. I think the saddle's about 12,700. So I'm getting close. I'm getting real close to being up there, at least on the saddle. Looks like I'm less than half a mile. GPS is showing me at about 5.4 miles. And I'm at an elevation of about 12,650. So I'm almost as high as the saddle. I think I've got Old Baldy just up to the right of me here. And I'm skirting around it. I don't know, I'm close to 12,800 right now. So, I mean, that's got to be it. I've been skirting Old Baldy here to the south, southwest, and I'm about ready to hit the corner. And I should be looking right at the saddle. I mean, I've got to be really close here. Alright folks, it looks like we are just about to the saddle, because that's South Arapaho right there. Buddy, coming over to say hi? I'm about ready to hit the saddle. That's looking ahead at South Arapaho Peak, which is awesome. My mom and I did that a couple years ago. And then down there at the low point, that's the pass. And then it kind of ramps up to Mount Neva and then on over to Jasper. The 4th of July trailhead is just down over in here and you can take the trail up this way and you see where it connects up and that's the easy way to do South Arapaho. It's like half the distance of what I just did. All right guys and in three hours and ten minutes I'm up here to the saddle, and this is magnificent. That's looking out at North Arapaho Peak. That's the one that's kind of hard to get to. And then just below it there is the glacier. And then all of this is the Boulder Watershed. But for now, I'm getting ready to hike up to the top of Old Baldy. Right here, it's a 13er. Looking at just over 300 vertical feet to the summit. This shouldn't take but more than about 10, 15 minutes. I'm almost up there. This isn't too bad.
land in three hours and 25 minutes, I'm up here, summon of Old Baldy. What a beautiful shot of the Arapaho Peaks. Looking at these mountains right here, I believe on the right is Kiowa, and then kind of behind it is Audubon, and behind Audubon is Meeker and Longs, and I believe that one sticking up right in front of me is Arikari. I like saying Arikari. And then over to the left, you're gonna have Navajo and Apache. kind of heading down a little off the summit. I'm probably 10 feet under it. But right over here we got a nice little fort and I'm going to sit in it. That's Lake Dorothy way up there by Arapaho Pass. Just sitting up here on the summit, enjoying these awesome views. I mean, I can see all the way up into the Rocky Mountain National Park, like Pagoda and those sticking up. And then you can see all the way down to Pikes Peak. Really great. And a nice day too, there's like barely any wind. However, although these skies are blue, the clouds are coming. And I need to start heading down. 10 o'clock is my turnaround time, and it's about 9.57 right now, so it's time to go. Instead of going back down to the Arapaho Saddle, I'm going to head it straight south and make a beeline directly for the trail. I mean, I literally wrapped three-fourths of the way around this thing on the way up, which was totally pointless. By connecting this little loop straight down to the trail, I'm knocking a good like 20 minutes off this hike, I think. Yeah, there it is.
we got a few clouds building up and I'm sure it's gonna rain here later but for right now I'm almost back in the trees and I'm not too worried about it it's been only an hour and a half since I left the summit and I'm entering the trees so that's pretty cool I've knocked about a half hour off my time coming down it's just now 12 o'clock and I'm almost back down I've only got maybe three-fourths of a mile left I feel like I just felt a raindrop hit my hand but only one back down to the trail split and I've only got a quarter mile back to the trailhead all right guys and I'm back at the trailhead my GPS says 13 miles on the nose and it overshoots by about 10 percent so I'm gonna say it was closer to 11.6 which makes sense six miles up and then about 5.6 down because I probably cut four tenths off by taking that shortcut back down to the trailhead officially and that sucker is full it's about 1230 right now so that means it took me exactly two and a half hours to get down I cut some serious time off on the way down hey it looks like someone knocked down the stupid mask sign that's awesome whoever did that needs a pat on the back hope you enjoyed that hike and until the next one y'all peace